everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Bobby Lace and chemical peels aren't really what I do normally <laughs> but I mean you're here for that so hey um, you should do me a favor really quickly and go over here and hit the little subscribe button please and thank you <laughs> hey everybody I just wanted to jump on here and throw out a quick disclaimer um, I'm recording this from my phone obviously but um, let me state that even if you have been like cosmetology trained or anything like that even those people mess up and even those people will mess up somebody's skin so I think that um, I don't do this lightly and um, I'm just trying to see what will work best for me, for my skin, and for my pocketbook, honey, because <laughs> chemical pills are really expensive. Um, but however, the solution itself is not expensive. So that's kind of what road we're at right now. Um, also, I would like to say that I do, on a day-to-day -day basis, put my skin through a lot of rigorous things. So I cleanse it a lot. Um, I use a lot of scrubs. I use a lot of masks, drying masks. Um, let's see, I always put on lots of products on my face, um, exfoliation of my face. Um, I just already, my face goes through a lot. So I need to keep that in mind, but I, or I need you guys to keep that in mind, but um, I'm happy with the progress that my skin has made. Um, clearly, this is the last day. Um, I would really like for these are all flat, like you can't really see it really well, especially with just my camera phone on my thing, but. Um, I mean, like, you can see my wrinkles right here. So, like, you can tell, like, this is extremely flat. This is a new pimple from wearing lipstick. But, like, all the red dots that I have on my face, they're flat. And they just um, need a little bit of time because they, like, got super attacked by the acid, I guess. Um, so, I'm not going to be doing another chemical peel for a while. However, I am going to do a TCA peel. I already ordered it. It's going to be in the like delivered tomorrow through Amazon. Um, and I say TCA because I can't say trichlora something or other. I, I just can't say it. I'm sorry. Um, but I'm really happy with how my skin went. And um, a little bit of a backstory for you guys is... I actually had really clear skin when I was a teenager um, until I was 21 is when my skin started to fuck up. Well, 20, more more so when I was 20. So when I was pregnant with my son, um, my skin just freaked out because of the hormones and then it didn't stop freaking out. And so um, especially whenever I get my cycle every month it just my skin will be terrible it freaks out every single time so it, I definitely have hormonal acne but I don't like and I found a good way to control it so far but I don't like the scars um so like these extra pink parts is where I um have scarring these are lighter scars but like it's still scars and I hate it I hate looking at it um I look in the mirror and I don't think that this is my face you know <laughs> so um I'm going to try and fix it with the TCA because the um glycolic it's more of um of, of a surface it does the same things. They have a lot of the same properties and stuff like that. So do your own research. Do what's best for you. I'm definitely not advising anybody. I'm not going to advise anybody. Don't ask me any questions. 
um, pertaining to what you should do for your skin. Because I haven't met you in person, I'm not going to come study your skin and tell you what you should and should not do. I'm not licensed. So do what you think you should do, boo. Okay, do what you think you should do, but I'm just sharing my skin journey and my results for me trying to get my skin better, if that makes sense to you guys. Um, so that's where it's going. I'm definitely going to share my other chemical peel with you guys because I think for quite a few people, it will like resonate with them and that they will actually want to, you know, uh, try it. I will have the stuff that I used linked down below the kit that I bought off Amazon. And thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really do appreciate every single person who watches my videos. Um, if you guys have any skincare video suggestions, or makeup looks, or just something you think would be fun for me to try out for everybody, then go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Or if you're not comfortable with that, you can always inbox me. I always link my social media stuff down below in the description box. Okay, guys? Um, well, without any further ado, oh, wait, 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 hold on. Subscribe, please. Especially if this is your first time, you're gonna love my video so since we already know that you just go ahead and subscribe please and thank you <laughs> um but yeah let's go ahead and get into this tutorial for this 30 percent glycolic peel <laughs> okay so um chemical peels and skincare related things aren't normally what i do i'm not in my studio if you're used to watching my videos i'm actually in my dining room um, because there's a sink like right here and um, there's not a sink like readily available if you will um, in the studio um, and I could do it in my uh, bathroom area but it doesn't have enough light okay so we're set up out here in the dining room okay and really quickly before I go ahead and turn you guys around and show you everything that you would need to do this chemical peel which is a 30% glycolic acid peel um, I would like to preference that by saying I do use on a regular basis a 10% glycolic peel um, it's one of these prepaid pack or prepaid one of these pre-packaged um, peels pads by um, bliss oh my god what happened to the fucking light okay <laughs> something crazy always has to happen in these videos so without further ado I'm going to show you everything that you would need in front of you before you go ahead and get started so right here I have literally all of the things that you would need for this peel um, we're going to be using alcohol petroleum jelly this is just a product that I got it's not necessarily important but I'll go over that here momentarily you need two little um, containers this container is for the glycolic this is aftercare along with this the moisturizer um, and i'm going to be putting this glycolic into the little tub i have a fan brush here and i have a bunch of cotton rounds i have two q-tips i have a mirror um, this is a one part uh water one part baking soda solution I have two gloves and I have another neutralizer which is what this is so if I find that this just is not doing the trick for me um, with my skin burning then I'll go ahead and use this I've had a chemical peel professionally done before and um, I've researched this heavily so if you have not researched this I would suggest you don't even purchase it um, until you go and get a professional one first um, because the professional will be able to help you and 
Um, I'm not going to say that I'm a professional at it, but um, I did so much research and you, I'm pretty sure it's not rocket science, it's skincare and estheticians don't even have to really go to school for that long to tell you the truth. So no, no offense to estheticians who may or may not watch this channel, but I'm just saying you don't have to go to school for that long <laughs> so um without any further ado i'm going to go ahead and take my 30 percent i already have done a patch test on the scar i have right here from um, a flat iron just hitting it and it has diminished but it's definitely not gone away um but I, I stood that pain pretty well. Basically, I'm going to take this little container that I've already sanitized. Sanitation is extremely important in this case, so always be mindful to sanitize your stuff. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna start off with just using two little pads just in case if I need it. So um, this solution is actually really inexpensive, so you can just go ahead and use it just buy more okay you'd rather be thorough than not um have to go through this pain for nothing is what i'm trying to say so use enough so i put enough to saturate both of the little pads in here so i'm just gonna let that marinate i guess for a minute um and now with the alcohol, I'm going to take another pad um, and however many pads I need. And, and I washed my face, but as we all know, I wear makeup and I was wearing makeup today. And um, it, there might be residue left and I have oily, acne prone skin. So, so to make sure that we have a good dry and clean surface with that is basically oil free okay I'm gonna take some alcohol and just wipe my face with it until it's clean cotton pads later and a whole bunch of alcohol I swear I have no more nostril hairs okay <laughs> um, so now comes the fun part <sighs> I'm nervous but I'm nervous but we're gonna go through with this okay um, since I do have to put gloves on give me a second now I'm gonna take the petroleum jelly and protect basically the area around my eyebrows. I'm gonna just basically outline my eye with it. And I'm gonna hit the corner of my mouth right here. And I'm also going to put a little bit in the crease of my nostril right there, okay? going I'm gonna take and I have I would like to state that I made two of these little pads because I have in my opinion a large head and an abnormally large face so I feel like I might need to but you know if you have a small face do what's comfortable for you to do okay okay so I'm gonna take this peel and just wipe it across my forehead, um, mostly in upward motions. That way it could be, Jesus, this light keeps changing. Um, so it could be more of an uplifting motion. And you should do that with your um, moisturizers and stuff like that anyway. So just upward motions for no wrinkles. <laughs>
it's only been a minute and this really fucking burns um so hence the fanning and this is just a piece of mail that i found laying around um so it really does burn like really bad and the thing with glycolic lactic and um salicylic glycolic lactic or salicylic acids is that they do not self neutralize so don't just sit around and think that it's going to neutralize that's what i have this here for and that's also what i have this spray here for is so that i can neutralize this okay <laughs> One more minute, one more minute, I'm gonna try. It's like making my eyes water. <laughs> okay, while we're waiting on this next minute, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys that I'm going to chronicle every single day for the next week on how my skin does, what, how, where it goes, um, if I go outside, what I use to protect myself, to in outside um because you definitely are going to need some sunscreen after this 30 more seconds <laughs> fuck um this would be a really good time to hit the like button you know um subscribe and also share this video with your friends maybe you guys can plan a spa day together or something everybody does glycolic acid peels <laughs> okay Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good. That threw me off because it made it burn worse for a second and then it made it stop. Fuck! Okay. No. If you can see, it's literally sizzling. Can you see that? It's fucking sizzling on that fucking acid. Jesus. Like, literally, you guys don't even know how good this feels. Um, I'm going to go over here to the sink and wash my face off. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I'm back now that I have fully, like, flushed my face with cold water several times. And definitely whenever you are going to go to wipe your face, pat, dry your face, for sure, do not rub your face dry at all i know it's force of habit for a lot of us but don't do it you'll regret it don't do it. um so this right here more inflamed um definitely these areas that i have scars um these areas that i have active pimples um these areas that i had pimples that were going away um, not yet 
to a head kind of pimples. Um, everything that's an imperfection on my face is heightened way more than it was before. Um, I definitely felt that for three minutes, trust me. I would just say practice extreme caution whenever you're doing this, you wanna experiment with this. I would suggest go to Target where this is sold, the Bliss That's Incredit Peels. They're $20 for a box of, I think, 15. Um, so, and I use these like every few days. Um, and these are only 10%. This was only 30%. I didn't dilute it or anything. It's, it comes pre-diluted. Um, so it's only 30%. And I'm just like, that, that was unlike anything I had ever experienced, especially with the sizzling. Oh, when I put the baking soda solution on. <laughs> That was nothing like any, like, because this was not cutting it for me. I don't think I would even try to use this again. The um, peel neutralizer spray, I probably would not use that again. For the simple fact that I was spraying, spraying everywhere and it was not working. It was not like making the burn go away. Um, as soon as I put the mixture of the baking soda and water onto my face, literally sizzles. Like you're, you got a fajita hot plate on your face. Okay, so just be aware of that. That's going to happen. <laughs> um, my skin feels like weirdly really good. So, um, I have some moisturizing lotion with hyaluronic acid. Um, so I'm gonna put this moisturizer on, get some good moisturization really deep, um, and just use whatever you have to moisturize your face really well. Um, I've seen people use this. I've seen people use the CeraVe, just the regular CeraVe for um, like sensitive skin moisturizer in the tub. Just put that on their face. I've seen people use Aquaphor. Use whatever you want to use, seeing as how you're doing an at-home DIY chemical peel, okay? So, but I'm going to use from Vital Therapy, I'm going to use the anti-inflammatory peptide lotion for acne on top of the moisturizer. So I'm gonna put that on real quick. That actually feels really good with the moisturization lotion, especially right here, because I did get like a real, even though I had put some petroleum jelly right there, it, the acid like ate through it or something, I don't know. But like it, or maybe I didn't put enough, but it did burn this area right here because it is a really sensitive kind of area. Um, and it did burn all of the border of my lips <laughs> and I put it on like it was chapstick. Um, so that's all I have for you guys today. Just use your, your aftercare. Um, make sure your face stays nice and moisturized and I will check in with you guys tomorrow. See you later. Good morning everybody. It's day two and yes, I look a little bit busted because it's only like nine in the morning. <laughs> um, but it's snowing and my son woke me up. He wants to go play in the snow. So I'm going to wash my face really quickly with this matcha hemp cleanser, hydrating cleanser, because it's really gentle, um, but it still gets your face pretty clean. So I'm going to use some of that. I'm going to use some more of the moisturizing lotion on my face, and then I'm going to just use some of this Hawaiian Tropic. Um, it's a broad spectrum, 50 SPF. Um, and I'm not gonna even be outside that long because I don't wanna test it. Okay, I don't want to test it, so I don't want any sunburns on my already chemically burned face. So I'm just going to wash my face and stuff really quickly, but this is how my skin looks on day two. If I have any changes, I'll definitely check in with you guys.
but this is how it's looking. <laughs> so, um, I just woke up and I washed my face already. So this is basically what my skin looks like on day three after it's been cleaned. And like, if you don't put moisturizer on immediately or something on your skin after this, I would like to know that it is going to feel super tight. And it's just because that skin is like hanging on, it's trying to like come off. At least that's what I'm hoping, because I know for sure um, sometimes you don't peel if it's too low for a glycolic peel. Um, but I'm really hoping with all that damn sizzling that was going on that this is going to peel. So I'm going to do moisturizer today and a, yeah, the regular moisturizer. And I'm going to do a vitamin C serum from Mario Badescu. Just try and get like some moisture onto my skin. And um, I have a day date with Babe. So I'm going to be using the Island Sport. And yesterday I volunteered. So I kind of had to wear makeup, if you will. <laughs> so... Um, I had makeup on for that and it laid over makeup laid over my skin just fine um, actually yesterday I had it I, I would note that I had some of the pustules that got really inflamed um, they are now gone on their own sorry about my lighting I would like to say it's kind of shitty but it is what it is um, and before I go ahead and take my makeup off for the day, I'm going to show you guys like what my skin looks like with makeup on top of it. Okay, everybody. So, um, this is day three, um, a, my check-in after I put on makeup and it's been all day. Um, it's well after nine o'clock and I started filming and showed you guys around... 10 this morning so like obviously I've been like touching laying whatever and makeup has rubbed off but I'm feel like I'm starting to get an active breakout right there um but yeah after a very very long day of um errand running and things like that I have this is what my face looks like after the chemical peel with makeup on top of it. Um, I have a lot of dryness and like you can't really see it cause in this lighting. And I have a sneaking suspicion because I do have a giant nose <laughs> that you couldn't see it. Hey everybody, it's three days after um, my chemical peel and... Um, as I said before, with the glycolic, it's just like very um, minimal. Like the peeling will be very minimal. But I do have some. So um, let me see. Like I have a lot of dryness and flaking on top of these pimples. Like these were active pimples whenever I did the chemical peel and this was just a scar um, and it's pretty flaky as well. It's very, very dry and pretty flaky. So I'm hoping like the scars will like flake off. You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, um, and I'm hoping that these don't like aren't bad, like don't get bad. I guess I probably should have done more research into that but um like I have a little bit of flaking and peeling on there and a lot of it is around my mouth and my nose area um but slowly but surely it's all coming off and all of the peeling for glycolics lactic and salicylic um uh, chemical peels are going, it's going to, the flaking and the actual peeling is going to be minimal, but like 
I said before, I think, in this video, or maybe I just thought it, but um, next step is TCA Town, okay? <laughs> um, and for those who don't know, a TCA peel is a higher grade of chemical peel. A TCA peel is more of a chemical, chemical peel. Not that you can't get a chemical burn from the other ones, because you can, um, and it, I am sure if you increase the percentage, because I only did a 30%, um, I assume that my peel would be minimal, but this is more than I thought that it would do. So I'm really happy, and I actually wanted to show you guys my face without product on it, so I'm about to put some product on it. Um, I'm going to try this out and see how it works. It's the H2O Beauty, H2O Plus Beauty Oasis Ultra Hydrating Cream, and it's a little travel size because I got it in my Ipsy Glam bag, so we're going to try this, and... <laughs> Um, I'm also going to film my second Valentine's Day tutorial, so I'm going to be putting some baking oil on my face along with a hydrating primer. Is that what I'm always going to use? No, I'm going to use uh, the hydrating type <laughs> primer. Um, I'm actually going to use the Tarte Base Tape. And this is actually really hydrating. I've had it for a minute and I use it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. But that shit's high. So I might not. <laughs> but yeah, so this is my check-in for day three. Okay, guys. So basically, here's what happened. Um, I used a second card and my SD card got corrupted somehow. I'm very, very sorry about that. Um, in the red is the final day, day seven, and in the white is, you know, clearly my day one. So these are my results. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.